This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, Access Point, where we spotlight cybersecurity companies and give an inside look at the people and technology behind the latest advancements in the industry. Today, I will be speaking with the company Elastic Beam. I'm sitting down right now with Dory Rosenblum, who is going to demo the reporting of API behavioral security for us. Take it away, Dory. Thanks, Marley. Yeah. I'm going to focus on the reporting aspects of our solution. Mm -hmm. uh, prior to this demonstration, we generate a bunch of different traffic and attacks on the APIs. And here what we're going to do is show you the reports that are available so the security administrator can learn more about the environment. Okay. Starting with what we have is just the overall attack activity. And you see the aggregate number of attacks here as well as the activity over time. So you can see uh, the different number of attacks as well as the number of attackers that have occurred over this time period. And you also can see more information about all the different APIs being monitored. Mm. And so with this information, the security administrator can now see where do I want to get more information. The shop API had quite a bit of detail, so let's go take a look at that. The shop API uh, screen shows information on the attacks on just that API. Again, it shows us over time, but here it breaks it down into two categories, uh, the API DDoS, DOS types of attacks, as well as just the overall attacks. So if you want to look at a little more detail here, let's look at the API attacks. And you can see here, there are attacks like uh, probing replays, extreme activity, uh, there's some stolen uh, cookie attacks, as well as data exfiltration that occurred on this API during the time period. And this shows the number of each of those attacks. You're also able to get information on the actual URLs that were used uh, during the API access pe time period and show the total number of requests on each of the paths there. Again, give you more detailed information about what occurred on that API. You can get error codes and other types of information via the screen. Okay. Now with this information, generally what you would do is then go dive down and look at more detail. We'll do that in just a minute and show you some of the in-depth reporting available via the REST API. Before I do that, I'll talk a bit about the decoy API. This is a little bit different. Here, their API is set up such that the minute a hacker hits that API, they're automatically deemed an attacker, because generally uh, these clients are actually probing. They're not actually running the API client. So when that occurs, they're immediately deemed attackers, and this report would show uh, those clients which are identified, the total counts of them, and what they accessed to generate those uh, attack counts. So anyway, with this report, you can then see these attackers who you can automatically block and make sure they can no longer access any of the APIs in your environment. So let's dive down into the more detailed reporting and then look at each of these. Let's start with the metrics report. What we find from many customers is they want to see exactly what occurred over a time frame on the API. So it'd be all the activity. So here, the report breaks down and provides a summary, as well as detailed information about all that went on. So for a given client, you can see all the details in the activity that occurred. So what methods were sent back and forth. You can see what the user uh, browser was, as well as the paths that were accessed. So quite a bit of detail. This report can be used for compliance and other detailed reporting uh, to provide uh, quite an understanding of what occurs on that API during this time frame. The other reports are available include backend errors, and this is different. Typically, you would just see a summary of the errors that occurred. What it does is allow you to drill down and see a lot more detail about what occurred. So here, for each of the error, you can see what was accessed when that error was generated. So you can see exactly uh, what a client was trying to do when they generated this error, again, to learn more of his malicious behavior or if maybe it's just an accident or something in the API is set up incorrectly. The next report shows detailed on the attacks. And so this breaks down and provides on a per attack basis the information about the attackers. So in this first one, it's data exfiltration. 
And what you can see in this report is all the different clients and when they access, when they generate the attack. The next one would be a login attacks and it shows the clients and the addresses associated with those attacks. You can go down and look at all these different attacks and see the information uh, or the client information uh, and all the and details on what the attacks consisted of. Okay. Generally what you do next is say, okay, I found a client who actually generated this attack. Let's go and figure out what else that client did during this time frame. So this IP forensics info will allow you to input an IP address and see all the activity from that client on the API. So that would include every path in the API that was visited as well as the activity that occurred when the client accessed the path. So again, quite a bit of detailed information which allows you to figure out if that client may have gone to other APIs and did some malicious activity on those other APIs. Um, this little report would allow you to see all that occurred and pull that together to get a create, complete forensic view of what happened. The last report we have is the decoy API report. What this does is complement the, the graphical screen I showed you and shows you detail around the clients which were caught uh, as part of the decoy traps that were set. It shows what they did and there's also information available which allow you to look at the payload mm -hmm. and other things generated while these clients generated attacks on the decoy API. So it allows you to get much better insight in what hackers are trying to do in your API environment. So these are some of the reports. There are many more available, but just wanted to give you a feel for some of the common reports that our customers run to get better insight into their API environments. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you for showing me this. This was great. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Ronnie. Absolutely. That's all the time we have for today, so be sure to tune in next time for another episode of Access Point. Also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.